Between the seemingly constant stream of reports of police being called on people of color for minor infractions, the protests and over policies put into place by the government, and the far too common reports of mass shootings, it's probably no wonder that many of us are, are pretty stressed out and on edge. I know I am. An annual report put out by the American Psychology Association last year found that people are, are stressed out by money, work, relationships, their health, and by feeling unsafe. Perhaps most tellingly, 63% of Americans are stressed out by our future. Joining me now to talk about it, Heidi Hanna. She is the executive director of the American Institute of Stress and the author of The Sharp Solution and Stressaholic. I don't want to be a stressaholic. I know I'm not alone, <laughs> but I feel like we're there. It seems like we're on the verge of outrage and it just, the tension is almost palpable in the nation. Heidi, am I alone on this? It is, Michaela. Thank you so much for having me on. And I have to say, I've been watching your coverage of all of this, and you have a very calming energy to you. So I, I appreciate that. It is hard to talk about all of these tragedies. And of Thank course, my, my condolences go out to the families affected uh, by this tragedy and, and all of the tragedies we're hearing about. So yes, we are definitely in the midst of a stress epidemic. And our institute, uh, the American Institute of Stress, we actually are studying what this is actually doing to our communities and, and looking at what it does to our, our bodies and our brains and how a lot of these tragedies are actually being fueled by unmanaged chronic stress at the core. So talk about that. So wh where is it all coming yeah. from? Well, one of the important things to, for people to keep in mind is that there's two different types of stress. So a lot of people think about stress as being the extreme things that happen to us, um, you know, emergencies and, and losing a spouse or losing a loved one. And what's interesting is that those really difficult, acute stressors, we're, we're pretty good at bouncing back from those situations. But what we see most of the issues coming from is actually everyday nagging chronic stress, like waking up in the morning and feeling like there's not enough time to get it all done or feeling like you don't have the financial resources or the social support. And I think the tendency is for people to think, well, I have it good because I have a roof over my head and I have, sure. I have food to put in my mouth and so many other people have it so much worse than I do. Who am I to complain about my stress? But people don't realize that that everyday stress is really changing our physiology and changing the way that the brain sees the world around us. So we, what can we do? Because the fact is we can't change we can march, we can protest, we can write our Congress people when we want laws yeah. changed, we can be part of the solution, but we, we can't necessarily yeah. change the stressors in our life. What can we do to change our reactions right. to them? Yeah, so part of what you mentioned is really critical, and that is to actually take some sort of action, because the whole purpose of stress is to actually fuel some sort of change. So when we speak out, when we go and actually march and voice our opinion, that's actually really helpful for us. But the other thing to think about is how we build our own capacity to cope with stress. So, so much of what we're talking about today are the things that we can't actually control, but what we can control is getting more sleep or having more time with social connections that matter to us or even doing good things for difference. other people. It turns yeah. out that volunteering for other people helps us feel like we actually makes do us feel better. Control. Yeah, and that we're, that we're efforting change yeah, in the world. Hi, Hannah, I'm keeping your card and we're gonna talk again because this stress <laughs> is not going anywhere. Please do. Uh, and I think that we need yeah. to have further discussions on this, especially about what it does to us physiologically. Thank you so much. This was amazing. Absolutely. Love Thank you, Michaela. You. Thank you. Okay.